Hello friends, <clears throat> welcome to the Eurocal Medicine app. Now, many students have written about how to prepare for medicine, for the entrance exams and for the UG, and how to utilize this Eurocal Medicine app. So, as far as medicine is concerned, it's a very logical subject, and it is having a lot of conceptual approach. And if once you understand the concepts, then the subject starts becoming very easy. So the whole purpose and uh, drive behind this app is to make sure that the concepts are clearly um, elucidated and also to give an idea about how to approach the differential diagnosis. And most of the questions as you have noticed in medicine are based on the differential diagnosis. So how to choose one choice compared to the other? So it's basically a comparative approach. But apart from the comparative approach, one should be clear about the core basic sciences connected with medicine. And actually you'll realize that medicine is nothing but a combination of multiple subjects. It's an, it's an integration of multiple subjects. And definitely it is a high yield topic because uh, it has maximum number of questions in our exam. And not only that, uh, if the exit exam comes into force, then obviously the significance of medicine will further increase. So as far as how to prepare for medicine is concerned, one should be clear that to read and understand medicine, the basic sciences are equally important. For example, if you are trying to read neurology, the neur neuroanatomy is extremely important. And here I would recommend to see my good friend Dr. Ashwini's video and Dr. Ashwini's coverage of neuroanatomy if you see and then see the neurology videos that we have in medicine, the combination is going to make a lot of sense. This is because, let's say if I'm discussing spinal cord, then one should be aware of the various spinal tracts and the various you know, components of the spinal cord. If I'm discussing about the basal ganglia, then you should know the, co the components of the basal ganglia. So these things are covered in anatomy. And along with that, if you're able to understand the neurology that we're discussing, then yes, that will be a fulfilling approach. So ideally, I would prefer that if you read organ-wise, or topic-wise and cover it over multiple zones. For example, if you're reading neurology, then one should start with neuroanatomy, read neurology from, see the neurology videos from medicine, and then go on to see the neuropathology and neuropharmacology. This way, you'd be able to finish the neurology as a whole. This is always better to understand the subject conceptually. However, if you are in a rush and if you are time-bound and you want to finish the subject in a particular time and you want to have a sense of finishing, completion, then obviously doing subject wise is much better. You finish one subject, then go to the next subject. But especially for undergraduates, I would always recommend to do as organ based. Like if you have thyroid, do see the thyroid surgery videos and also the thyroid medicine videos. And if possible, along with that, if you can see the anatomy part of it also, it will give you a very comprehensive picture of what exactly is happening in thyroid. The major chunk of questions in medicine, where do they come from? They are mainly in the four important topics, neurology, cardiology, endocrinology, and rheumatology. One of the reasons why these four zone sections are extremely important is the overlap between the other subjects with these are very less. For example, if you look at endocrinology, much of it is medicine core and you don't have much of an overlap with the basic sciences. Similarly for cardiology or for neurology for that matter, although neurology we need to, as I told you, understand it along with partly neuroanatomy. So neuroanatomy along with neurology becomes very important. Although minor overlap is there between orthopedics and rheumatology, but rheumatology is another zone which does not have much to pick up on the basic sciences. This is not the case when it comes to subjects, topics like say hematology, which is significantly overlapping with pathology and much of the hemat questions that they ask in our exam are very similar to what you see in patho. So there's a huge overlap for hemat from patho, so also from for nephrology. And then you'll also see the respiratory part of it. If you look at the previous year paper questions, you'll realize the bulk of respiratory questions are actually physio-based. Then 
medicine based because very few questions you see coming on say asthma or COPD most of it is the uh, the physiological basis of the disease and the physio becomes extremely important for respiratory system so yes the other parts of medicine are important but i would say focus first on the four core zones in medicine the neurology the cardiology endocrinology and rheumatology most of the videos in these four sections have already been uploaded whatever a few finer finishing touches are there i'm going to upload it very soon and actually the main thing that i'm waiting for is the acp guidelines which are going to come out in the first week of march and hopefully by first end of first week of march the updated guidelines once i have in my hand then that way the next one year we don't have to worry and that will be up uploaded along with that so that's the one of the reasons why i'm holding some of my videos so that i can upload the moment i get those updated guidelines i can do the minor modifications and then upload them however as i said when you start reading neurology please do read please do go through the neuroanatomy videos they are very very important and then start reading then start looking at the neurology videos once you finish the neurology videos then start attempting questions from neurology section so the correct approach is to do about 70% of the time the theory part and 25 to 30% of the time mcqs the theory part which you are doing should include the videos also whatever relevant text if you can read that would be ideal but the mcqs about 20 to 30% of your time should be spent on doing mcqs a good number of questions are there in the medicine app covering all these things so you should try to do this as far as cardiology is concerned then the major difficult zone actually is ischemic heart disease and ischemic heart disease is covered elaborately in my videos and you can definitely make take advantage of all those recent guidelines that are there already and 2013 2017 some modifications have been done in the guideline that have already been added to the cardiology you know videos endocrine is mainly conceptual not much that you get as update except for diabetes and diabetes the most recent 2019 updated guidelines have already included in the treatment for diabetes 2020 only in the month of october we will see revised ada guidelines coming out so that means there's no point waiting till then i've already uploaded the 2019 october you know updates in the diabetic treatment part the rheumatology section also includes the uh, you know overlapping zone with orthopedics like especially osteoarthritis and its comparison to rheumatoid arthritis and i'm sure if you can see the rheumatology videos along with the orthopedics part of it as well and that would give you a even better idea about how to answer questions in rheumatology so i would say start medicine with these four topics the remaining topics as i said a huge overlap is there with surgery for git for example surgery surgery part of git is more important hemat is all about pathology stuff patho is covering most of it and that means there's not much that you need to do other than these four yes there are other parts of medicine and as i said they are also equally important but we'll be uploading them very soon and i'm just reassuring you do start with these four main zones and any doubt you have please tag me in your questions in the facebook section in um, the eguru collab i'll be more than happy to get back to you whatever doubts you have also i would love to hear your feedback about uh, the videos because these videos are a fresh attempt any mistakes any editing um, mishaps where some part of the video is cut or something has happened please mail me personally and uh, email address is thameem.saf at gmail.com i would appreciate if in the heading you write eguru collab okay if if in that subtopic if you can also put eguru collab i would appreciate and i would definitely focus on those kind of mails so i hope you enjoy the content we are creating and uh, obviously this is just the beginning and by the end of the year i hope to um make this medicine subject more fascinating uh by some imaginative you know ideas that i have and definitely this app we want uh, we want it to benefit as many students as possible so my best wishes good luck and thank you all